talk about this uh, big charity event, October 17th and 18th. You have a double dip here, and I love this. You're doing first a poker tournament in Kent Island uh, at the Ro- Rover Roving Crab Deck. Uh, it's, yeah, it's called the Crab Deck right there in Kent Island, right next to the uh, the Hilton the Hilton Garden Hotel okay. over there. And then golf the next day, shotgun start, 11 a.m. in Queenstown. In Queenstown, and it uh, looks like at this point now we're going to have uh, both, I think it's the river and the marsh course, I think they're called. It's two 18 holes because, fortunately, uh, looks like we're getting more and more celebrities to show up. Give me just, some names. Just to name a few, a couple ex-teammates like Javi Lopez, Brad Klontz. Uh, yep, former Oriole as well. Brad Klontz, Ryan Klesko, uh, former Oriole great Scott McGregor, the former governor Robert Ehrlich. Uh, Sylvain Cote, Peter Bondra, former Capitals, huh? Gary Clark, Steve Avery. Uh, we're going to try to get Ryan Zimmerman and Jason Wirth and, and maybe even Bryce Harper from the Nationals, uh, Mike Bilecki, former teammate, uh, B.J. Surhoff, uh, Eddie Murray, Jeff Bostic, Chip Miller, Reggie Branch, Billy Kelmer, Sean Landetta, former Giant. Great list. And uh, Frankie Munoz uh, from Malcolm in the Middle. Uh, That's yeah, good. He's, it, it's great. Uh, my my niece actually was uh, she was involved with getting him uh, to come out, but he's a uh, I guess a big time golfer, and he also plays in a band on the side too. So basically, he said, "Listen, I'll come out and play golf for free. You don't have to worry about like an appearance fee as long as my band can play like a set, you know." And we're like, "Bring up, bring any band members awesome. you want." Uh, and what's the charity for? It is for the uh, Connor Cares Foundation, which is named in honor of my nephew Connor John James Freed who unfortunately we lost seven years ago to a drowning incident that um, it's pre- preventable drowning incident. Um, it happened at Crofton Country Club Pool underneath the lifeguard chair in five feet mm. of water. And um, basically what our charity mainly does is we provide AED defibrillators for public and private um, private pools. Um, on the 911 call when we, when we lost my nephew, uh, the, the 911 dispatcher said, ma'am, do you have an AED on site? It was a young lifeguard. She said, yes, we do, but we don't know how to operate. Only our manager does, and he's not here right now. And so, you know, unfortunately, we found that out the hard way that there's so many of these drowning incidents could be prevented if defibrillators are on site and you could administer the, administer the defibrillator right away. You, the chances of lives being saved go up so much greater uh, from that point. And the one great thing that happened, too, Brett, this past April, I think you're looking at it right now, yes, I am. April 9th, we had the Connors Law passed here in the state of Maryland, which states that it's mandatory for every public and private, I believe, public and it's definitely public I, I, I believe it might be private also too but every public pool in the state of maryland has to have a defibrillator and somebody on site to use it i mean these things are, are so self-explanatory they've almost talked and talk and talk yourself through it to be honest with you of how to operate it you know and administer the the uh, defibrillator on site more information at connor connor cares dot org connor cares.org. We'll link it when we put this interview up on the website. It's a great cause and a great tournament. Excellent stuff. And again, October 17th and 18th, be a part of the golf tournament, be a part of the poker tournament. One's at Ken Island, one's in Queenstown. It's awesome stuff, Denny. And that Connor Cares is with a, with an O. C-O-N-N-O-R C-A-R-E-S dot org. And it is dot org. Denny, I really appreciate it. Great stuff. My Let's do it again soon. We'll hit it up before, we, uh, before the big weekend. Sounds good. That's Denny Nagel. We'll come back with Craig Hollander, my brother, talking about the season premiere of Breaking Bad. That's next. The pre-